Prue turned her phone on speaker and set it on her desk in the library so she could continue typing into her laptop. No, I really don't think we'll be eating garden compost, she said. It must have meant something else in medieval times. I'm looking it up now. Wait, here it is. An old English recipe with roasted fruits and vegetables pickled in vinegar and wine. They used parsnips and cabbages and turnips and raisins, that sort of thing. Hmm. Her sister-in-law's response was less than enthusiastic. Well, as long as there's wine, we'll be drinking mead, Prue said. I tasted mead once, at an organic farm just south of Dallas. They make mead in Texas? Polly asked. It's a thing, Prue explained. A medieval thing, but still popular in some circles. Possibly not her favorite drink. She remembered it being a bit heavy and sweet with honey. I'm beginning to see why you weren't able to talk your husband into going to the lecture, Polly said. Christopher has a community policing meet and greet in Dunbridge that evening, or he'd be delighted. Ha! Huh. Prue leaned back in her chair and took the alligator clip out of her hair. Its texture, midway between slightly frizzy and barely wavy, resisted control, but still, she combed through and reclipped. We could ask Bernadette she offered. This group is raising funds to create a garden near the medieval hospital in Winchester. After living in Britain for several years, it still amazed Prue that something that old could be just down the road. I'm sure they'd allow me two guests if we make a donation. It'll be fun. Do you know any of these people in the Winchester Medieval Garden Society? Prue filled in. No, but perhaps it's a mass mailing to all of Hampshire. Perhaps they've heard of you. By the end of their phone conversation, Polly had agreed to go to the medieval evening and said she would ring Bernadette, the vicar at St. Mary's. The three women enjoyed the occasional night out together. Prue emailed her response to the invitation and then sat back, wondering about the group and its garden, which she had never seen or heard of. An online search brought up a single web page framed by ancient figures at war, Vignette from the Bayou Tapestry, the photo credit read, accompanied by a brief message. Our mission is to recreate a medieval herb garden to accompany the Hospital of St. Cross, that venerable institution in existence since the 12th century. Other than that explanation, there was only a note to say that the website was under construction. Prue had never visited the Hospital of St. Cross, but Winchester was a short drive. Perhaps she'd dash over for a recce before the evening event.